Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I am going to show you how to make this version of the kill box in RimWorld. It won't be a kill box corridor today or a kill box hallway, it's just going to be a kill box. It's definitely going to have traps in it too, but we're going to make this design that you see in front of you. The best thing about this design in my opinion is it gives the opponent a little bit of a chance to actually fight back so there's a little bit of gameplay in your rim world whereas when you make everything automatic in kill box format i find that you end up just having no real gameplay no real challenge you're just waiting for the enemy to walk into your traps and die so i normally like to make these about 30 wide on each side with a gap in the middle for the door and about 14 down now you can make these longer obviously you can make them wider as well completely up to yourself but the bigger they are the less likely the opponent or the enemy is going to walk into it because it'll be too far away from your base now I do like to make a compound, as in I like to surround my entire colony with a wall before I start making these, but you can make these in a smaller compound, as in you don't have to make such a huge one like I do, and or you can use this design if you have a natural choke point in the mountains in your map that you're using. So I like to bring the middle part down about nine or ten depending you can make these longer once again as i said but the longer you make them the lesser chance you have of the opponent actually coming in this way best way to make the opponent use this kill box is to actually have a door at the back and leave it open whenever you can maybe leave it open whenever you have your units in position I also like to make my sandbags across I usually go down about three before I start making my sandbags and you can add in these little nooks as well if you like it makes no difference really it's more so for looks than anything uh, mostly the shooting or the opponent opponents will be shooting from the front so you only need them in front of you i like to add one set of fences just a couple of squares away from my sandbags this slows down any approaching melee units that might be charging your units because once they get into melee range it's very hard to deal with melee units these fences are very very useful i highly recommend it and they don't give the opponent any extra cover as they're coming into the kill box so now that you have your sandbags down and your fences down you can also put in some traps the best way to put the traps in is to put these doors in just like this and the reason why you're putting the doors like this is so that your guys can reset the traps safely without walking into them so make sure you put your doors like so and you can as i said make this longer if you like to have more traps you can almost make this uh, trap hallway or trap corridor so long that it actually becomes um, automatic and that you kill most of your enemies before they get in i like to make them straight it gives the enemies a higher chance of actually using the corridor or using the hallway um, but you can also do it the other way as well which i will make a video about how to make the tra more traditional version of the trap hallway and or a corridor then you can put your traps in as well make them out of wood of course they're a lot easier and cheaper to make that way and you just stick your traps in when where there is no doors that way your guys won't get damaged uh, the last trap that i put in there just at the entrance i probably would remove that to be honest so that your guys don't walk into that when they're on the way out but other than that they're perfectly fine if you guys find that you're uh got your colonists are walking into that first trap just remove it and uh, yeah they probably will to be honest so that's pretty much the kill box and it's a very effective kill box as i said when it comes to the reason why i make it like this is because you actually give your opponents a small chance of fighting back and gives you a tiny bit of gameplay as well because there's nothing worse than just having absolutely no threat whatsoever and you're literally just sitting in your base and the opponent can't do anything so i also recommend to avoid any trees growing in this area make a roof above it go as far as the fence and if you want to you go maybe even a bit further back to the sandbanks 
and then behind the sandbanks to avoid any trees growing and stopping any movement of your guys i would recommend using concrete floor just to remove any trees also it makes it quicker for your guys to move around too because it'll bring the movement up to a hundred percent so that's pretty much our kill box in its full glory and now we are going to show you a couple of examples and you will see a little bit of me using the kill box to defend and obviously it's a simple case of you have your guys behind the sandbags you wait for the enemies to come in and you shoot them this was more of a melee raid so it was quite easy there was no problems there and obviously i have a hole in my wall from when i got attacked by a bigger raid earlier so these guys aren't using the kill box hallway in a way uh, one of the best things you can use in this game by the way especially when there's melee enemies is the lances the lances are so overpowered make sure you buy lances whenever you're playing this game i prefer the electric lances to be honest then we're going to bring our guys up and defend the other wall. In this particular instance, none of our guys are injured, so it was a pretty okay raid, to be honest. And um, I'm surprised the raid happened so soon because this particular moment that I'm taking footage from is just after we launched the ship. So we just had 15 days of attacks from our enemies. And within a day or two after the ship has been launched we're already getting a raid from our enemies which is typical rim world it never stops so i also like the whole co you might notice that i have a compound a pretty big compound as well and i can show you how to make compound in the future as well of course uh, it doesn't you don't need to make it as big as i do especially if you don't have enough granite um, but the best thing about a compound is you can control the, where your guys go easier. You can stop them from going outside the compound when there's anything like manhunters. And that, that allows you a little bit more control and keeps your guys a bit safer. So, unfortunately, we have to kill at least one more of these twats in order <laughs> to finish this raid. So we're going to bring our entire squad over to the other side. I think I was pressing the wrong button here. I wanted to allow that door, not disallow it. Actually, I wanted to hold it open, not disallow it, but we'll fix that in a moment. And don't forget to put your door back on to close. I'm after leaving that door wide open. So if none of my guys go through that door before the next raid, then the raiders are going to have a pretty easy time getting in to my base. So we're going to allow that door and we are going to go and get these guys. I don't normally play on one speed. It's only for the capturing of the footage. So if you think this is very slow, which it actually looks a little bit quicker than normal. Normally one speed is so slow, it's painful. But yeah, I don't play on one speed just in case anyone's thinking I do. And we're gonna finish off this guy. We're gonna make them flee. Uh, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us today. I will see you guys in the next video. Best of luck with your kill boxes and Ta-ta!